Hey guys, and welcome back to AMZ's Corner. How are you guys doing out there? So, uh, a little backstory on what I'm about to show you. About uh, about three weeks or so ago, we uh, we had a Saturn Ion come in that was leaking oil out of the rear main seal. So, uh, well, leaking oil out the back of the motor, coming down, running down, uh, where a typical rear main seal would leak. So we took it apart, replaced the rear main seal, put a new clutch in it, you know, because we had it apart. And it comes back a few weeks ago, or a week ago, and uh, it was leaking oil. So we had them come back yesterday, and uh, I pulled the tranny back out because we stand behind our work. And uh, upon further investigation, we found a little hole in the block. Uh, kind of a weird, never seen a hole like that before. I got some pictures, maybe I'll uh, splice them in right now. So yeah, so yeah, a little hole in the block. So uh, I figure uh, to fix that, we'd have to take the whole motor out, rebuild the whole motor, pull the oil pan, the crank has to come out, the whole thing. I mean, at that point, sometimes it's easy just to put a reman engine. So uh, to try to save the car, I cleaned up the area and uh, put some, some gray, rigid RTV, and I pressurized it with some compressed air in the hole and, and put a nice smear over it to kind of hope it it holds together to save this uh, <coughs> to save this engine so I want to be sure that it's not going to leak for the customer so I did something today that I've never seen done I've never seen done we got the uh, I got the motor sitting here running with no transmission <coughs> just just idling away happy as can be so uh, I want to run it to see if it's going to leak oil so uh, this way I can keep an eye on if anything's dripping or anything's pulling up and we'll know uh, a little more what's going on with it. So uh, anyways, look, no, uh, no check engine light. It, uh, it doesn't even care that there's no transmission in it. So anyways, uh, yeah, I figured I'd just show you guys uh, a neat little trick we got going on. Uh, this is possible because the starter bolts to the block and not into the transmission and the uh, the flywheel has the teeth for it to engage so this is about as as much as you need to put together to to run an engine just to, to verify no leaks so uh, anyways we'll uh, we'll see how this goes all right guys I got this Saturn all together and uh, how's it look under there looks dry as a bone looks dry as a bone looks dry to me so uh, you know, a hole in the block like that, that probably should have got caught when this car was manufactured. Uh, that was obviously something that was there when they were putting this motor together, uh, when GM was building it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, hopefully that seal up, that sealant will take care of it. Uh, looks pretty good for now, looks pretty good for now, boys. But anyways, I got a, I got a couple other projects to get out of here today. I got this... Uh, we got this 5.0 Mustang with the hot motor back. Uh, he says his brakes are a little spongy, so I gotta, I gotta dig into that thing's brakes, guys. So, uh, busy, busy day, boys. Busy, busy day. And until next time, you guys keep it out of the cabbage.